Hi, you guys. My name is Stephanie. If you're new here, hi, welcome. If you're not new here, hi, welcome back. This is video number two of three collective D stash haul. So, um, the first one was, um, D stash I purchased from three different, um, sellers. This is another one, three different sellers. Um, this is all from lighten that stash wax D stash Facebook group. Um, and so far so good. I mean, I, that's usually where I get my, when I purchase D stashes, that's usually where I go through. Um, and I haven't had any issues from them. So if you guys, um, are interested to see what I got, keep on watching. Drinking water. I'm wearing Centro by Memo Paris. This is a um, love don't be shy vibe with um, a little kinky kick to it. Um, she's the older sister. She's a little more. She's a little more sassy. Um, it does have the marshmallow in there. It does have the orange blossom in there, but it also has cinnamon and cedar and rose. So there's a, there's a little, there's more depth to it. So I really enjoy that one. I wear that one a lot, but you guys, let's get into these packages, shall we? I'm excited. So the first one is, this is from Lacey Williamson. I don't know if I purchased from her before, um, but first bag from Lacey Williamson. Um, I think this was a combination de stash because it looks like there's some swanky and salt melted melts and it looks like I have a vintage chic. So let's go into this swanky. This is Little Witch's Fireside Cream Cake. There's no dates on it, um, and it looks like it's an older, a different tub than what she usually uses. I don't know when she switched over to the um, the flatter, whiter tubs or tubs loaves. So, um, and I don't, I've never smelt this little, which is fireside cream cake. I have no idea what the scent notes are of this. This feels light, but is. I do pick up a bakery note. I smell it more on the top than the bottom. Very, very, very light, you guys. So I do pick up, I feel like I'm picking up, am I picking up a pumpkin? I know I'm picking up a bakery, like, Am I picking up cream, like a cashmere, maybe a cream, vanilla, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't know what the scent notes is, are. This is very light. This is one I'll probably go ahead and cut up and put in my uh, melting basket to melt sooner rather than later, only because um, I can hardly smell it. And my thinking is, is because it's the old, it's a different loaf pan that this is older. So there's that. Next one is from Salt Melt and Melt. This is um, from September of last year. Nevermore. So this is cornbread, blueberry pumpkin patch, and vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. I do have this one. Um, I don't know how many I have. Um, Salt Melt and Melt is one of my other favorites. I have a lot of favorites, you guys, but I mean, 
What can you say? I have two loaves already. Cornbread, blueberry, pumpkin patch, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. I enjoy this one tremendously. I don't know what it is about it. This, like, the cornbread and the blueberry don't make sense together. And it there is, like, a tartness to this. I don't know. There's something about it I really like. Um, and I, I couldn't tell you what it is. It's, I don't... I don't know how many people enjoy this one. Like I said, because there is this this weird tart sour note, and I think it's probably it could be the the blueberry pumpkin, like the blueberry pumpkin vibe with that cornbread. Um, but I just I really like it. It's different, and I'm happy to have another one. Um, Howling Hallows. I have one loaf and one tub. Actually, I don't think I have a tub. I still have a empties video to do. And you guys, that, that one's going to be a long one. Um, holy smokes, it's going to be a long video, you guys. I waited way too long. But anyways, <clears throat> Howling Hallows. This is Smoky Wood. Clove, cinnamon, coriander, cashmere, and marshmallow fluff. And I also tremendously enjoy this one. I just love a really smoky note. There's I I I don't have a fireplace. I have a pretend fire a pretend electric fireplace. I don't know what's going on with this piece of I, don't know what that is. Well, that's me going on day three of not washing my hair. Anyways, um, so you do that clove and cinnamon is absolutely there. If you don't like spice, you won't enjoy Howling Hallows. It is spicy. And I do remember on warm that spice came out a little more, but so did that smoke. This was tremendous. Mm, love it. It's not sweet, um, but it is very much a beautiful, I, I love this one a lot. And then I have a Vintage Chic Sense. This one is Reese's Book Club. And I have one blossom of it. And now I have another one. This is fresh picked strawberry, blackberry jam, butter cookie. Oh, no. Wrong one. Huh. Reese's Book Club. Lemon meringue, sugar cookie dough, and zucchini bread. Um, this is May of last year. Mm, that is so good. This is, uh, this is so good. That lemon is super strong. So this is kind of like what I wish Scentsy's um, Strawberry Lemon Drizzle Cake. Is that what it's called? It's in my club and I do enjoy it. But it's so light, you guys. Um, strawberry Lemon Cake. This is, this is Scentsy's Strawberry Lemon Cake on steroids and how it should be this is beautiful you pick up the, that lemon tartness but it's a sugary lemon and you pick up that strawberry um and that the zucchini cake is actually the or the zucchini bread is that bakery element that i need in in my fruit like it it's just a really it brings it it takes away the sharpness and the scratchiness of just straight lemon strawberry. So good. You pick up that, that bakery note and it is perfection. So, so good. So I'm glad to have another one of these. So that was bag number one. We are on bag number two. 
This is from Brianna Strasser, S-T-R-A-U-S-E-R, -S -E Strasser. Um, Looks like this is a Teddy D's D sash. And I'm absolutely going to have to rebag. Because um, this, I will say that that one could have been a little more um, packaged well. Because this is like tr trashed. So, um, if you, <laughs> you saw. If you watch D stash number one, you will know I already got one of these sugar spice fireside, but I'm not mad to have more. Love it. Love it. Um, yeah, absolutely. So good. And I'm going to grab some bags real quick over here. I don't care if the bags are too big. I just want it in a bag. It, yeah, that just came destroyed, destroyed. So um, I would say the packaging, the shipping, or the the wrapping could have absolutely been been better on this, especially with the tubs. But once again, happy to have that. Um, another one of my favorites that I'm happy to have. This is The Usual Suspects. This one is um, uh, hard to read. So this one is blackberry jam, buttery shortbread cookies, toasted marshmallows on a campfire, and sweet strawberry pound cake. Um, this one I melted, I think I had a souffle of it, and I melted it the other day. So good. This raspberry, I'm just scrolling down to it. Because um, I don't, usual suspects. Yeah, I, I think I I did the tub. I have a loaf. I didn't, I didn't melt the loaf yet. This one, so that blackberry jam. I enjoy that blackberry jam so much. And the strawberry pound cake just adds like a sweet element to it. Like it, it brings that the, so blackberry, blackberries can tend to be like, it's a darker, it's a darker berry, right? And the strawberry just kind of brightens it up. So with that strawberry pound cake, that's what it does. It just, you have that sh the butteriness of that shortbread cookie and then the blackberry jam, the toasted marshmallow, but that strawberry pound cake just brings this, uh, adds a brightness to it. That's all I can say. It is a sweet bakery gourmand, but it's not, um, it's not heavy on the strawberry. It's not crazy on the blackberry. It's just to me, it's a good blend. A good blend. Also, the tub cover was smashed, so putting it in a bag. All right, the next ones in this bag is just souffles. So I got another strawberry pound cake. Um, got that in my last D stash, my last video I did. So. Moist buttery vanilla pound cake topped with fresh strawberries and fresh whipped cream. To me, um, yes, it says fresh whipped cream, but to me, it's more um, it's more like strawberries in a syrup is the vibe I get with that. Still not mad at it though. Um, festival. Um, festivals in. I don't know what that is, S-C-N. -S um, frozen berries, warm sandalwood, strawberry pound cake, and sweet watermelon sugar. Never smelt it before, I'm excited.
Oh, that's nice. So this more, this kind of gives me more of a body care vibe. Not necessarily a, um, I think because it's that watermelon sugar. Like there, you're picking up for sure on that watermelon. Wow. It's strawberry. It's watermelon. It's not a. It's not like a, a bakery. Frozen berries, warm sandalwood, strawberry pound cake, sweet one. Yeah, it's super light on the bakery, um, in my opinion. Uh, there's this. You do pick up the strawberry. Uh, the watermelon is to me the front of the list and the berries this gives me absolutely like a um like the hemp lotion vibe or um like back in the day bath and body works vibe um i heart vanilla blackberry which i have never had before so this is creamy vanilla marshmallow vanilla milkshake boardwalk marshmallow and juicy blackberries Love that color. I enjoy her I Heart Vanilla. Um, I like Witches Be Crazy better, but but then on the other hand, I enjoy like the calmness and just the background note that I Heart Vanilla has. Like that's one that no one ever gets left behind. Um, it just creates this beautiful background. Like it's not going to punch you in the face when you walk into someone's house. It's just going to create this really nice background um, scent. Like their house smells pretty, but you can't figure out why, if that makes any sense. So I, I the Blackberry for sure. This one is also, this is really, really, really light. I don't know, like, because it's only a souffle, I don't think I'm going to be able to melt this in my living room. This is one I'm, I'm going to have to put in my bedroom. And sometimes with Teddy Bees, I have to do like an ounce and a half or more, depending on the scent, because um, I... For some reason, with certain vendors, I have to go more is more with certain vendors in my home. And sometimes Teddy Bees is one of them. Sometimes. It depends on the scent. But I can absolutely tell you, I Heart Vanilla Blackberry, really, really light. Um, you do pick up on the, on the I Heart Vanilla and you do pick up on that Blackberry. But it's faint. Faint. This one was... I mean, I could hold on to this until like even the end of summer because this was july of last year so this is one i can absolutely hold on to i i can even hold on to this until next year so we'll see we'll see what i get through um i'm not sure um another one this one is um signature sugar cookie i have not had this one either I have not. Um, so signature sugar cookie, sweet sugar, buttery shortbread, buttercream frosting, vanilla sugar cookie dough. Um, I don't know, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to put the scent notes up because I'm trying to get these videos out. Um, it's taking me a while to film like I past couple days side note rant whatever um it's taken me a, a couple days to um i got up i got dressed and i was gonna film and i just wasn't feeling it like i just was not in a place where i wanted to film and like this stuff has been sitting here for a while i have hauls i need to do um i might do it for the hauls um but I, I just want to get these videos up and that was stressing me out. And then like I was prolonging it because I was just like, oh God, I don't want to edit and sit here and do that. Because um, I'm my word of the year. If you watched 
some of my past videos, my word of the year is balance. And um, like my sanity needs balance. And so me sitting here all day and then um, doing all the notes, that takes a lot of time. So I think for my D stashes, I'm not going to put the notes up. But for the hauls, I will put the notes up just because I, I need to get these uploaded and scheduled and done so I can kind of breathe and move on with my day, if that makes any sense. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, so signature sugar cookie. Really, really, really light. Very light. Um, absolutely another one that's going to go in my bedroom. This might be a two answer. I might cut this in, I might cut this in, in five. That's a lot. I know this is super, super light. I just don't know how it's going to do on warm. So we'll see. We shall see. All right, and last two in that bag is War of the Five Kings. This one I do have. This one I do enjoy. Um, happy to have more. Um, I have two loaves. So this is Marshmallow Fireside, Cashmere Cream, Palo Santo, Milk Cookies, and Beach Treats. Nope, oh, War of the Five Kings. Ah, oh, so good. That cashmere cream in Palo Santo absolutely darkened this up. The beet treats is in there. The milk and cookies. Um, wait, I think this is... Oh, no. I was going to say, I think this is layered. It's not layered. It's layered. There's, yeah, there it is. So the top side is marshmallow fireside, cashmere cream, palo santo. Bottom side is milk cookies, um, and then beach treats. I have not warmed this one yet. I'm just kind of waiting for this to um, really mature, if you will. Um, this was from June of last year. This one, I mean, I'm... I will probably, I have some cut up already and it's supposed to rain, I think on Friday. So I might actually warm that up on Friday. That just smelling that is just, it just, it smells very cozy. Um, and nothing too bakery and nothing too smoky, just right perfectly in the middle. So that might, that might happen. And last one out of that bag is Old Country Store. This one, I feel like some people either really liked it or they did not. I have two loaves. This is peach preserves, hot apple pie, cinnamon, and a slight hint of pine. Um, the hot apple pie worried me. Um, I usually can do hot apple pie. I can't do caramel apple I can't do mac apple I can't do cider um, I'm learning but red apple and hot apple pie plus you have the peach preserves in here and the cinnamon this is very cinnamony though FYI if you don't like a spice or a cinnamon don't do it but I do pick up the pitch the peach preserves um, I do pick up like the cinnamon, almost like you, almost like you've opened up a jar. Have you smelt like when people do um, the apple pie filling in the jar? That's kind of what I get with this one. Is like hot apple pie mix in a jar. If that makes any sense. All right, and then. The last bag here. Um, this one is from Michelle Johns. Once again, and this is nicely packaged. This is 
very nicely packaged. And I don't remember. You guys, I don't remember ordering this. I don't remember ordering this, you guys. Michelle Johns, if you if you follow me, if you subscribe to me, did I I ordered this? I don't remember ordering this. Okay. I mean I'm not mad. I just don't remember ordering this. Is there a note in here? It says thank you. Did I black out order? Is it me? Am I the drama? Okay. I don't remember. I honestly don't remember ordering this. Okay, it, it is what it is. So let's get right to it. I have from Yummer's Delight, cereal, killing it. So fruity pebbles, fruit loops, and fire roasted marshmallows. I just don't know because I, I don't know because Yummer's Delight doesn't do the best in my house. So I don't know why I would order. This is pretty, it smells good. <laughs> Am I the llama? <laughs> oh, drama. This is pretty. This is fun. Um, I will try. I will absolutely try it. Um, that one I will keep. And then we have um, one sherbet cone. Mm. Too um too scratchy. The bottom smells good. Yeah, I it's ooh, that is sharp. That one's gonna go into my thousand subscriber giveaway. If you want to know what I mean by that, go watch video D stash number one. Um another one from Yummers. This is strawberry Swiss cake roll. Super cute. I don't know if this is going to work in my house. That one's good. Um, I might just cut this one in half and put it in two warmers. Yeah, because the top is messed up. I was going to add, put it, I was going to put it in the thousand subscriber, but I'm not going to. The top's messed up, so I'll just go ahead and keep that. Um, okay, so from Silky Soaps which I've never tried. Silky Soaps and Scents, so Fruit Loop, Cake Bake, and Fizzy Pops. I don't remember ordering these, you guys. Mm, nope, with the fizz, I can't do it. Next one is Coconut Cream Marshmallow Fireside. nice that's soft that one's nice I do get the fire side and a little bit of coconut I appreciate that um, next one is vanilla bean nectarine and vanilla waffle cone so maybe like nectarine over ice cream I love nectarine. I just don't know. No. It's not creamy enough for me. So that one's going to go also in the thousand giveaway. 
Um, silkies and a okay. Rewind. Raspberry jam pistachio pudding cake whipped cream and little. That's nice. This has um. Almost, almost on the cherry side. But I love a pistachio. I love, I mean, that raspberry and pistachio. That's a fun blend. That's a fun blend. Okay, cool. Let's keep those. Um, next one is L3. This is Beach Night and Fresh Picked Strawberries. I don't, I, I don't remember ordering this, you guys. Oh, nice. I don't know when this was poured, though. It smells very, very light. I might put this in the giveaway, in my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. It's very, it's light. It's really pretty. Um... And I know I have plenty, plenty of this. I mean, here I am talking about I need more Teddy Bees, but um, yeah, I have plenty of this. This is super, this is light, light and pretty and strawberry and beach night so that's gonna go into my thousand subscribers I have two rose girls I don't remember ordering this you guys this is blackberry kool-aid I'm probably blackberry kool-aid Ooh, it's Kool-Aid. Mm -mm. No, it's too Kool-Aid for me. Too, um, too Sharpie Sharp for me. And I, like, this is not, I, I just, I don't remember ordering this because some of these, like, I would not have, I would have just passed because there's more of what I don't like in here versus what I like, if that makes any sense. Um, so, obviously, I blacked out somewhere and I got Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Um, this is Bob, uh, Bob on Blast. Blackberry, Campfire, Marshmallow, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Glazed Donuts, also from Rose Girls. Yeah, that's more my style. That one's, yeah. Because we have the Campfire, Marshmallow, the Vanilla Bean, and the Glazed Donuts. We have that bakery with that fruit. That's more my style. So, cool. I will keep that for sure. And then the last one in that bag. The last one for this collective destash video is... I was looking for my glasses and it was on my head. Um, Ava's country cupboard this is lemon sugar cookies never heard of Ava's before this is sweet sugar cookies and lemon zest poured 522 that's pretty It's not super crazy on the left. I mean, it's very, it, it is lemony. Mm. UPS just walked up. I might have to sign for it. Mm. 
BRB. Okay, so I like this, but I've never heard of Ava's. I don't know. It's pretty. I do get the sugar cookies and the lemon zest. This is fun to have. Um, I'll think about it if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to put it in uh, my thousand subscriber G stat, my thousand subscriber giveaway. Um, so I'm going to put this on the table over here and smell it and think about it because um, there are other lemon scents that I really love, tremendously love. And that one's really nice, um, but I will never purchase from Ava's again. And I, I don't know. So. Um, okay, you guys, that is it for my collective D stash number two. I have one more and one more to film. And I'm going to try and get these up like what? One and then maybe this one's going to go up tomorrow. And then my number three is going to go up the next day. We'll see. I don't know because I also have some hauls to do. And those are going to be maybe sprinkled in in between. I don't know. But I need to at least get all these filmed today so that the next few days I can edit and then put up and then edit and schedule to put up and whatnot. So that's, that's my plan. Whether or not it's going to happen, we'll see. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly do appreciate you guys watching my videos and commenting and um, please like and subscribe when I get to a thousand subscribers I do have a really special giveaway to do um, if you watched my um, I did a new to me vendor and Kelly Green is the owner's name and she owns Heavenly Apothecary she sent me a box of um, wax melts and um, she said that when I hit a thousand subscribers, she'll do a box like that. Um, and she will per she will personally send that box to whoever I choose. So I, my thousand subscriber giveaway is going to be, I'm, I'm going to send some wax and then she, um, Kelly said she will, um, sponsor that video and send that a box of wax to someone. So, um, you guys subscribe and like and um, stay in the know, all of that. Um, anyways, I'm rambling. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.